Okay, you guys, today we are going to be making a delicious, I say delicious, drink for the morning. Healthy drink for the morning. Because... Hey, what are you, what are you yelling at? Uh, some of us love coffee, but we don't always love that we drink too much of it. What is that? Today we have ourselves some chaga mushroom. Chaga, C-H-A-G-A, -A, chaga. If y'all have never heard of it before, mm -hmm. it's a type of fungi that, fung, yeah, I said that fungi. right, fungi. Type of fungi that grows mm -hmm. on birch trees. And you can only harvest them in February. Cool. Right now, if you're watching this after we make it shortly. You should only harvest them. And when it's pretty cold, so yes. prime time right now. You only harvest chaga in the winter because, I had to look it up here, uh, at this time, the trees that chaga grow on have gone dormant. And the mushroom has the peak amount of nutrients in it. Uh, so all the good stuff is inside there and it's dormant. Uh, during the winter and they basically look like this dark wad growing out of the birch tree. Yeah, and you just go and cut it off I like that. It's a dark, dark wad dark wad like somebody stuck a dark wad of gum on it. <laughs> yeah, you can see this side Yes as well um, And if you're nervous about getting the wrong thing, is there a chaga lookalike? I think that'd be very hard unless you're trying to cut something off a popple tree. Yeah, just make sure it's a birch tree. <laughs> yeah, it's chock full of healthy goodness. Antioxidants, lowers cholesterol, blood sugar, fights cancer causing. So the benefits are actually, look, I looked it up here. Uh, anti-inflammatory, anti-aging for skin, antibacterial, anti-cancer slash anti-tumor, including some lung and liver cancers, antioxidant, good source of various vitamins and minerals, uh, cholesterol regulation, and blood sugar regulation. This isn't one of these things where uh, you hear it's that it's good break. and you, you eat as much of it as you can yeah. or drink of, as much of it as you can. Everything in moderation. Most people brew it into tea and then some people mix it in with their coffee. So today we're just gonna, we're gonna do a little both. There's no good way to cut this guy up. It is like... What, are you going to smash your head against it? Well, yeah, you can smash your head against it, I guess. That's one way you could go about it. How are you going to... What are you going to do? You should try that technique and let's show them. It's pretty... So, we actually cut, got this... Um, do it for the video. <laughs> uh, one way that I have heard to do it is put it in a cooler. Something that, contain, that can contain the uh, debris. And you take a hatchet to it and just kind of break it up like that to get it into smaller chunks. Uh, but we shall see what we come up with. We'll, we'll try a couple different techniques and uh, you guys can laugh at us. You can't just take a knife to it? Let's try that first, huh? That's what we got. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hard, huh? It's not like your porous, soft, squishy mushroom that you used to cut in. I think I actually might have to put it in a Tupperware, like he said. I got an idea. <laughs> you got the chisel. Really? Oops. Oh. Let's put it in there. Got us these little chunks. Not bad, but we think we can get a little bit smaller. So that technique got stuff everywhere. <laughs> and I just cleaned our house. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, guys. It's okay. Chaga! I come bearing gifts. How did it do? So let's take oh. a look, see here. Ooh. Not bad. That did it okay. A lot better. Yeah. More confined. Nothing's going anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> so that got it decently smaller. I'd say there, you know, there's some chunks that are like 
it's pretty fine some of them but we still have chunks that are about i don't know a half inch half inch wide so we're gonna try it in our processor don't know if that's a good decision or not but <laughs> we'll see and let you get then if it doesn't go well then you guys know not to do that <laughs> kind of feels like rocks like we just went mining I'm just going to do a little bit so we don't destroy our thing. Okay. And uh, let's plug it in. Alright, let's see what that, what the cat what dragged in. Do? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that smells funky. It does. So now we can just make the tea with these big chunks in boiling water. So I wanted to make powder so I can mix it with my coffee, but that food process processor failed. So to make powder, you need a coffee grinder or like a meat grinder or something, which we have neither. So we're just going to make the tea out of these chunks. Next. <laughs> hey you guys, quick side note. Do any of you guys have worms? Worms. Check out, I got a worm ranch. So maybe someday I'll make a video of it. But look at that. They're composting. They're eating up all the, oh look at that guy. He's eating the, the nana right now. Ooh. Heck yeah, these are my little buddies, so. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to show them to you guys sometime. Yeah. Well, I just, I, I kind of just did. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a pot of water boiling and I got my chunks. Apparently, if you're boiling chunks, put like four to five chunks in there, but we got ours down pretty small. Not powder, but it's pretty small. So I just put a handful. So now I'm gonna set her in there. We are simmering, simmer, simmer, simmer. So we're gonna do this for like two to three hours. So we'll check back with you. Maybe we can enjoy some tea together tonight. Huh? And then one of our other things that we have going on is a not so pretty aquaponics system. It works. That's the main thing, it works. So that's, that's all I'm about right now, is that it works. This is Shimano. That's Shimano. She uh, is super pumped every time I come around. See, she, she starts swimming at the, well, now she's way over there. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's growing. Uh, if you guys haven't see, heard of aquaponics, it's, it's sweet. Uh, fish poops, and that poop fertilizes the plants. And then the plants filter the water for her. So the only thing that's in there is that is that pump, pumping water up to here. So it pumps the water up to there and it drips down. Uh, I think over the course of the time, we're gonna show you guys more and more of each. Uh, but yeah, that's what's going on. Uh, let's get back to the chaga. All right, we have got some Chaga. I guess what guys remember last video kombucha. I'm still uh, I'm doing the next batch So if you if you didn't see that video go check out that video uh -huh. Made some kombucha. Got my cup mixed in a couple little squirts of maple syrup and a little dash of almond milk <laughs> How did it turn out? Let me taste Delish so normally, the maple syrup makes it. Maple syrup makes it. Normally, chaga dr drinks or chaga in general is more of a uh, like a earthy taste. Yes. So not the greatest tasting thing. Uh, this is one way you can make one that's pretty good, but tastes pretty good. Oh, did you put like sugar or anything in there? Mm -mm. Didn't put any sugar in there. It still smells earthy. It's mainly the maple syrup that, that makes it taste good. And uh, yeah, let me That's actually it. try it. 
Oh my gosh. Delish. That is good. Like a dessert drink. Yeah, it's like a dessert drink. What? So what did you put in there? A couple squirts of maple syrup and then a dash of almond milk. Wow. That's actually... <laughs> Delish. That's it? Yeah. You guys have to try this. This is delicious. Let me just show you what it looks like. Like coffee, basically. Yeah, like hot chocolate coffee. I would describe it as that. Hot chocolate coffee. Yeah. So you did two, you did all milk? And I, I still can't get over that, actually. <laughs> that tastes amazing. You gonna drink it daily? I would absolutely drink that daily. Nice. If that's all that's in there, that is, I... 10, I would say 10 out of 10. <laughs> if anyone, so I, I've tried chaga before and just normal, having it day to day, just the normal chaga that we mixed for you guys. And uh, it's like you actually, after a while, you don't, I guess you, it's an acquired taste, but mm -hmm. it's hard to get used to. Yes. Uh, this is something I can get used to every day. You can always spruce it up. So to get that, you need a couple, couple spoons of that. Mix that in there. And a dash of this in there. And it is awesomely goodness. It's awesome goodness. Uh, it's really, really good stuff. And, 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 and really good for you. If any of you out there are not coffee drinkers, uh, I'm not a coffee drinker. Uh, so this is kind of like a nice, if you add more of the almond almond milk and the uh, maple syrup, then it it kind of is a nice drink. It's not really like a, like a coffee style, uh, but yeah, I'm not a coffee drinker. So, and I like it. Uh, so there you go. I, didn't, I thought I'd just add that in there too.